Okay, thank you all for coming. It's really great to see so many people out here for, uh, as we're standing in solidarity with International Women's Day. Uh, my name is Libby Fontana and I'm the senior at the Sound School of New Haven. I started working with the climate movement over the summer and I've been given the opportunity to work with a lot of young women leading the efforts against climate change. The movement in New Haven is not different from movements happening globally. Women have been at the forefront of climate issues all around the world. This is not a coincidence. It's clear that women experience climate change disproportionately because their basic right, rights continue to be denied across the world. Enforced gender inequality reduces women's physical and economic mobility, voice and opportunity in many places, making them more vulnerable to the disastrous impacts of climate change. Studies show that women's bodies are more susceptible to the dangerous effects of toxic pollution and increasing evidence is demonstrating the many ways which women as carriers of life are being impacted by and passing along severe environmental health issues to the next generation. Indigenous women, women from low-income communities, and women from the global south bear an even heavier burden from the impacts of climate change because of the historic and continuing impacts of colonialism, racism, and inequality. In many cases, they are more reliant upon natural resources for their survival and live in areas that have poor infrastructure. Drought, flooding, and unpredictable and extreme weather patterns present life or death challenges for many women, who are most often the ones responsible for providing food, water, and energy to their families. In, in many frontline communities, gendered and sexual violence against women is added on top of the dire impacts perpetrated by the extractive industries that bear down on their homelands. However, women are not standing down in fear of these issues. They are fighting against them. Um, they are taking huge strides in bringing attention to the climate crisis. Women demonstrate every day that they have unique and essential ideas and skills to offer the, this turning point in history as humanity faces the crisis of survival. Studies show that worldwide, when women are uplifted, there are immense benefits to entire communities and societies overall. Sustainable and local economies grow, populations stabilize, and children's health and education improve, all of which are foundations for a sustainable path forward. In many countries, women get out the vote and vote more often and lead on environmental and social legislation when elected to public office. We are part of this growing movement and we have the chance to be at the, for the front of this issue. Young women play a huge role in saving our future. That is why it's so important for us to continue to speak out and demand action. Women have accomplished great things in climate justice and activism, but we have a ways to go and we can't stop now. The women playing roles in the fight against climate, the climate disaster is giving hope to the next generations. The climate movement requires participation from people of all backgrounds and all gender identities in order to make change and represent the next wave of environmental activism. Um, as women, we need to continue to never be silenced and push for progress despite all the odds. Thank you. Woo!